Hey guys, it's Chris. From eerie figures emerging from the depths to a horrifying sea monster, here are 10 of the creepiest discoveries ever made underwater. Number 10. Jason Voorhees Who is the last person you want to meet underwater? Maybe your girlfriend's father, maybe the ghost of someone you've wronged, or maybe it's Jason Voorhees. For those who don't know, Jason Voorhees is the iconic character from the Friday the 13th franchise, and he's good friends with Freddy Krueger. In 2013, an absolute lunatic built and installed a nearly perfect statue of Jason Voorhees underwater at a popular diving spot in Minnesota. The diving spot is an old iron ore pit, and even today, the statue of Jason Voorhees is down there, waiting to scare some poor diver out of their shorts. And while some people might enjoy diving with the legendary Crystal Lake Killer, most people probably wouldn't be very excited to discover the guy in the hockey mask suddenly staring at them from the bottom of a lake in Minnesota. If you didn't already know Jason was down there, you'd probably let loose your bowels immediately upon finding him. Why exactly someone would put such a horrifying and creepy statue underwater for unsuspecting divers to stumble upon, I guess, is really anyone's guess. But it seems like a pretty cruel thing to do. After all, what if he somehow comes to life? What if you had a heart attack and drowned? I mean, the possibilities are kind of endless. Number 9. Scuba Skeleton Probably the worst omen you could come across while diving is a skeleton in a dive suit. That can't bode well for the location you've chosen for your diving adventure. If there are skeletons hanging out at the bottom of the water, you might be in for a pretty nasty surprise yourself. Well, this exact sort of thing happened when the skeleton of a person wearing a black and gray diving suit, flippers, and a backpack was discovered floating in the Ibiza Canal in Spain. It prompted an immediate police investigation, especially since this mysterious dead diver was holding a passport from Morocco and a whole lot of cash in his backpack. The skeleton was first found by some people hanging out on a yacht, who then informed the authorities. The body was collected by an official vessel and was taken for an autopsy. According to the local news reports at the time, investigators were attempting to trace the identity of the person by using the items found on the body and in the backpack. Within the backpack, police not only found a bunch of cash and a passport, but also a mobile phone and a change of clothing inside of waterproof packaging. At the end of the day, it seemed like someone was trying to scuba dive from Morocco to Spain. It could have very well been somebody trying to seek asylum, but that doesn't seem like the brightest way to do it. In any case, this mysterious diver clearly didn't make it to the other side. So what's the creepiest thing you've ever found in your life? Was it some old bones somewhere that they shouldn't have been? Or perhaps it was something else, like blood-soaked clothing? Let me know the thing that gave you the shivers by writing a comment down below. Then be sure to subscribe to WorldList for even more great videos like this one. Number 8. Underwater Cemetery Leaving Europe now, let's head over to Florida, where authorities recently announced that divers had discovered a place of burial off the coast of Venice that dates back roughly 7,000 years. The burial place was found under the water in the Gulf of Mexico, and apparently it's going to help scientists to better understand the first people who lived in the territory of what is now Florida. The archaeological site is being called Minnesota Key Offshore and it appears to have been a place where thousands of years ago, people would have lived. That's because back then there would not have been an ocean, but just a pool of fresh water. Unfortunately, this ancient cemetery is off limits to divers. It's illegal to dig or extract materials from an ancient site. Surprisingly, the authorities have agreed to leave the dead where they're buried. It's believed that the original indigenous people of Florida left their dead in this area before sea levels rose. Because of all the peat at the bottom of the ocean, the bodies have all remained ridiculously well preserved. This is one of the only prehistoric flooded burial sites in the world, with the only others in Israel and Denmark. Number 7. A Missing Man Nobody wants to find a guy underwater. This is just not a good place for finding people. Nonetheless, the body of a man from New Jersey who went missing at Lake Tahoe in California has been found about 1,500 feet underwater. According to ABC News, the authorities were alerted to a missing person after a boat washed ashore at the edge of the lake without the guy in it. Considering he couldn't possibly have had a lot of options of where to go, search crews had to begin sifting through the depths of the enormous lake. With the help of the local sheriff's office, the man's body was eventually pulled out about a month after he went missing. It's believed that he jumped off his boat, maybe to go swimming, and his boat took off without him, and he never managed to catch up to it. 
He then spent the next month sleeping with the fishes at the bottom of the lake. Number 6. Creepy Mayan Ruins Speaking of lakes, scuba divers have been finding some pretty creepy ruins in a volcanic lake in Guatemala. Researchers are hoping to uncover clues about an ancient sacred island that the Mayan pilgrims had flocked to for worship before it eventually was swallowed by the rising waters. Interestingly enough, this underwater ruin was discovered completely by accident by a diver who'd been swimming around in Lake Atitlan, a popular place with tourists. After he found it, nobody really even believed him. And keep in mind, this was back in 1996. It wasn't until around 2010 that people began to take the claim seriously. And this was long after the diver had already named the site Samabaj after himself. Then in 2010, professional archaeologists began looking into the ruins beneath the lake. They used special sonar technology to discover what was down there. And yes, it turned out the guy had been right all along. Researchers discovered some kind of religious structure in the middle of the lake. They believe it had been a prominent place of worship before a volcanic eruption or landslide caused water levels to rise and the ruins to sink. So far, they've found ceremonial monuments, altars, and other mysterious features. They believe that worshippers probably flocked to the area and hired boats, then rowed themselves to the island and offered prayer to their gods. Number 5. Sunken War Machines Stunning new images have emerged, showcasing the creepy remains of Operation Smash. And if you're not sure what Operation Smash was, like me, it was a training exercise held back in 1944, several weeks ahead of the Normandy landing. And it evolved a large assortment of amphibious tanks that are now sitting at the bottom of the ocean, slowly decaying. It was also somewhat of a disaster. Six lives were lost when these armored vehicles sank during the exercise. What happened was that British and Canadian military tanks were launched inside of shallow water. It's because they wanted to test what would happen on D-Day. 32 tanks were launched and seven sank, with only 25 of them getting to shore. And even though six people died when the tanks sank, it taught the British and Canadian forces a very important lesson right before D-Day. When they struck the beach, they knew not to launch their tanks offshore or they'd lose hundreds and hundreds of more people. While this war exercise proved invaluable in the coming battles, nobody ever went down to pull the sunken tanks out of the water. And they're still sitting just off the coast of Dorset Beach. And it's a pretty eerie sight as they barely even look like tanks anymore. They're all covered in silt and sand. It's super gloomy and there's very little light. But still, it's a pretty cool thing to find over 70 years later. Number 4. The Vampire Squid The Vampire Squid has often been called the Squid from Hell, and it's for very good reason. It's one of the creepiest monsters ever discovered in the dark depths of the ocean. This disturbing little cephalopod can be found throughout many temperate areas, but it does live extremely deep under the water. It was first described as an octopus in 1903, and since then not much more information has been collected on the animal. We know that it's very small, only about a foot long, and we know that its body is blood red color. The squid's body color mixed with its weird cape give it the appearance of being part of some underwater undead organization. And while you're not really in any danger from the vampire squid unless you're hanging out about 3,000 feet beneath the water, it's still one of the creepiest animals out there. Anything with eight arms and a cape is something we should probably all stay away from. But it's important to mention that the vampire squid does not actually drink blood. It feeds mostly on detrius, also known as marine snow, or falling organic debris that makes for a tasty snack. Number 3. Mysterious Submerged Warplane At the bottom of Lake Norman in North Carolina, firefighters stumbled upon the discovery of a lifetime. They found a mysterious plane submerged 100 feet below the surface of the water using sonar imaging. The firefighters had not even been looking for the airplane in the first place. They'd been in the middle of a training exercise when they discovered the plane-shaped blip on the radar. And being naturally curious, the firefighters decided to go and investigate. Members of the Charlotte Fire Department dive team went into the lake, and before long, they had stumbled upon the single-engine aircraft where it sat undisturbed and a little creepy at the bottom. There were no victims inside, and the crew couldn't manage to open the doors of the plane. In the end, they were forced to leave it where it was. Nobody immediately knew who the plane had belonged to or what it was doing down there, until a woman named Barbara Anderson came forward and said she believed the sunken aircraft was hers. This is because 30 years ago, her plane had fallen to the bottom of Lake Norman after flight instructors had been using it in a training exercise. 
The pilots flying the plane landed, but they forgot to put the gear up and so the plane sunk. Even though that plane probably does belong to Barbara, it's doubtful she'll be getting it anytime soon because it's still at the bottom of Lake Norman. Number 2. The Lake Michigan Crucifix America's lakes have all kinds of really strange and creepy things inside of them. The creepiest thing ever found in an American lake has to be the crucified Jesus statue drowned beneath Lake Michigan. And this thing is kind of enormous. It's 11 feet tall and crafted from pure white marble. The statue was meant to be a life-size replica of the crucified Jesus Christ. It was built in Italy back in 1956 at the request of a family after they lost their young child to a gun accident. The statue was crafted and then delivered to the United States, weighing nearly one ton. However, the Christ statue arrived at the local church with a broken arm and other parts that were also damaged. The family decided that the statue was not fit to honor their child, and so they just dumped it in Lake Michigan. I mean, sure, what else are you going to do with a giant statue of Jesus when it's got a broken arm? Actually, the family themselves didn't dump it in the lake. They sold it to a local diver, and in 1962, he submerged it under 65 feet of water as a tribute to someone else. The statue then sat underwater for 20 years, until in 1986 when it was moved closer inland to only about 800 feet off the shore. Now in the winter, people can walk on the ice and see Jesus Christ beneath their feet. A hole is even cut sometimes in the ice so that people can get a clearer view. But to be entirely honest, staring at a murky statue of Jesus that somebody tossed into a lake through a hole in the ice is a little bit creepy. Number 1. The Foss Lake Mystery The Foss Lake Mystery is one of the creepiest underwater mysteries ever. It all happened when six skeletons were found inside two cars pulled from Foss Lake, each of which could potentially solve separate disappearances from the 1950s and the 1970s. It's an absolute mess. First, three adults went missing in the 1950s. Then in 1970, a group of teenagers mysteriously disappeared. Then in 2013, two vehicles were found completely by accident after some highway patrol officers decided to test their new sonar equipment. The sonar equipment revealed the two cars at the bottom of the lake, and after they pulled the cars out, they found a whole lot of bodies. According to the 2013 news report from The Independent, the officers pulled out the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro and 1950 Chevrolet that had been buried in the mud at the bottom of the lake. The police found three skeletons inside each of the vehicles. While the police never officially confirmed the identities of those found trapped inside the cars, they have said that there is likely a link between the occupants of the Camaro and the three missing teenagers, and also the occupants of the second Chevrolet and the three seniors who went missing in the late 50s. How exactly both groups of people drove into the lake is still a complete mystery. Nobody knows if it happened by accident, if there's something horrifying in the lake that somehow pulled them into it, or if there's foul play afoot. The only thing we know for sure is that it's a creepy mystery. So how do you feel about these seriously creepy discoveries? Let me know which one is the creepiest in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you again soon for another awesome video.